Sweden is a country that stands as one of the oldest kingdoms in the world, with its roots stretching back to the Viking era over a thousand years ago. From the royal palaces that tell tales of the past to the innovative ideas that shape our futures, Sweden offers a story at every turn. In today's episode, we'll explore Sweden's renowned wonders that most people don't know about, and at the end, we'll discover the most intriguing facts regarding its people, culture, and traditions. Ristoffelet Waterfall, located in the heart of Sweden, is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the country and has been featured in many famous movies. The area around the waterfall is a famous spot for fishing, especially for salmon and trout. Unlike many waterfalls that have a straight drop, Ristoffelet spreads out in a wide fan-like shape over the rocky terrain. Off the coast of Sweden, there's a special island called Gotland. It is the biggest island in Sweden and sits in the Baltic Sea, about 80 kilometers east of the mainland. Gotland is not just known for its natural beauty, it also has a historic city called Visby. Visby is famous for its old stone walls and fortress that date back to medieval times. The story of this place begins over a thousand years ago when Visby became an important center of trade. Merchants from Germany, Russia, and other Baltic countries came to Visby to buy and sell goods. The city grew very rich from this trade in the 12th and 13th centuries, and the people of Visby built a huge stone wall around the city to protect it. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Visby is the Vibor Fortress, constructed in the 1100s on a hill overlooking the sea, serving as a symbol of the Swedish king's power at the time. A short journey outside Visby leads to Gotland's rocks, towering limestone formations sculpted by wind, water, and ice over millions of years. These formations were created during the last ice age when Gotland was covered by a thick sheet of ice. Kalmar Castle's story begins over 800 years ago. Initially built as a simple defense tower during the 12th century, the castle was expanded over time to become a significant fortress and royal residence. One interesting fact about Kalmar Castle is that it was the site of a dramatic siege in 1611 during the Kalmar War between Sweden and Denmark. The Danes bombarded the castle with cannons for three months, but the Swedes refused to surrender. Remarkably, the castle walls withstood the assault, a tribute to their strength and durability. Borgholm Castle, perched on the island of Åland, was originally built in the 12th century as a simple defensive tower. It transformed into an impressive fortress by the 1600s due to its location near the Baltic Sea. The castle played a strategic role in defending Sweden from enemies approaching by water. Over the centuries, the castle evolved with additions that made it larger and stronger. In 1806, a great fire left it in ruins. Perhaps most notably, the Swedish pop group Roxette filmed six music videos here in 1989, including the international hit, Listen to your heart. Ale Stenner, a mysterious ancient stone formation located in southern Sweden, captures the imagination of everyone who visits. The site features 59 large boulders arranged in the shape of a ship, overlooking the sea from a hilltop in the small village of Caseberga. Researchers believe that Ale Stenner dates back to the Iron Age, around 1,400 years ago, but its exact purpose remains a mystery. Some legends suggest that the stones represent a mythical ship meant to carry fallen warriors to Valhalla, the hall where heroes slain in battle were believed to feast with the god Odin forever. Orebro Castle, a majestic fortress with over 700 years of fascinating history, has been rebuilt and expanded many times. Initially, the castle's main job was to protect the area and serve as a lookout. By the 1500s, it had become an important place for meetings and government decisions. Kings and queens often stayed there when visiting the region. Rising dramatically from the Kataga Sea stands Kullaberg, a peninsula jutting out from Sweden's southwestern coast. This rocky area, formed over 100 million years ago, shows the immense power of nature. Visitors flock here to hike along winding paths that lead to breathtaking ocean vistas. Gothenburg, a city that started its journey over 400 years ago, was founded by King Gustavus Adolphus as a port on the west coast of Sweden. Off the west coast lies the Gothenburg Archipelago, a remarkable cluster of islands formed by glaciers during the last ice age. This stunning landscape is a mosaic of rocky islets, sandy beaches, and picturesque fishing villages. 
Skansen Kronen, built in the late 17th century, was part of a defensive system designed to protect Gothenburg from invading armies. In the late 1800s, Skansen Kronen was joined by the Grand Saro Castle, overlooking the North Sea. In the western part of Sweden, there's a small fishing village called Smagen. This place is famous for its wooden boardwalk lined with old houses painted in bright colors. Over the years, Smagen has transformed from a quiet fishing spot into a popular destination for tourists who come to enjoy the sea and the unique atmosphere. One fascinating tradition in Smagen is the annual Day of the Lobster celebration in late September. Malmö, Sweden's third largest city, has a long history spanning over 800 years. Located on the southern coast, right across from Copenhagen, Malmö has always been an important place for trade, helping to connect Sweden with the rest of Europe. However, Malmö isn't just about its past, it's also a beacon of modern architecture, exemplified by the turning torso. The city is connected to Denmark by the famous Orsund Bridge, a remarkable structure with a highway and railway that spans the strait between the two countries. In the north of Sweden, sitting above the Arctic Circle, is Swedish Lapland. This area is not only a place of natural beauty but also a unique blend of cultures, landscapes, and wildlife. The centerpiece of Lapland is the town of Kiruna, built because of its rich iron ore deposits. During winter, the region becomes a wonderland of snow, and in summer, the sun never sets due to the midnight sun. One of the cultural highlights of Lapland is the Sami people, who have lived in the region for centuries. Reindeer herding, a way of life passed down through generations, is central to Sami culture. Visitors to the Ice Hotel in Jukasjärvi can experience Sami traditions while staying in rooms made entirely of ice, with sculptures carved from blocks of ice sourced from the nearby Torna River. Abisko National Park, one of Sweden's oldest national parks, is a prime destination for viewing the northern lights, especially from late September to early April. The park's clear skies provide the perfect backdrop for the auroras. Tanforsen, the largest waterfall in Sweden, undergoes a stunning transformation during winter. Parts of the waterfall freeze, creating beautiful ice formations that attract tourists and photographers from all over the world. Sweden is known for its focus on well-being, often ranking as one of the happiest countries in the world. Swedish cuisine features beloved dishes like meatballs, kottbuller, served with creamy mashed potatoes, lingonberry jam, and pickled cucumbers. Seafood, especially pickled herring and salmon, plays a significant role in Swedish food culture. Even the infamous fermented herring, surströmming, is a local delicacy, despite its pungent smell. In terms of relationships, Swedes tend to take a relaxed and informal approach. Many couples live together before marriage or as an alternative to tying the knot, with non-marital cohabitation, sambo, being a widespread practice. This is Sweden, a land full of wonders and fascinating traditions.